everyone, this is Faze. Welcome back to my channel. Today with me, I have the Nook Glow Light 4 by Barnes & Noble. This finally came in and I did a reaction video to this product a few days ago. Um, but anyways, this video is just an unboxing of this Glow Light 4. To be very honest, it's a small package, especially when you compare it to the packaging of the Kobo Sage that I unboxed a few days ago and even the Kindle packages. So I'm expecting this to be a very small device. But without any further ado, let's unbox this thing. So here it is, the box for the Nook Glowlight 4 by Barnes & Noble. It has a nice image of the device on the front, and it's a relatively small package with branding on the sides. Anyways, let's flip this around. On the back, it lets us know that this is a 6-inch e-ink display. It's a 300 pixels per inch display and has low light illumination and night mode. It comes with 32 gigabytes of storage and also has page turning buttons on both sides of the device. Now it says long battery life, but of course I need to test that to see if what that really means. And to be honest, it's kind of disappointing how this device has no water resistance. But anyways, let's open this up now. So now that the plastic is out, Let's set this down and open it up. All right, when you open it, you are greeted with the glow light itself. So let's take this out of the box. And uh, wow, this is really light. All right, I'm gonna put this aside now. And now we see a quick start guide and put that aside as well. And then inside we have the charger. This is a USB-C charging cord. So happy to see all devices going USB-C. But anyways, now let's put all of this stuff aside and let's take a look, a closer look at the Glowlight 4. So let's remove this wrapping. Once again, it's really light. The power button is up top. So let's turn this on. It's taking a second, but it's the first time. So usually takes some time. So I'm going to set this up and then we'll come back to it later. So to be honest, my first impressions for this device are kind of mixed. It's really small. However, I do like the fact that you can hold this in one hand, but lots of words in one small screen. And, and I don't know, I'm not really digging it right now. That might change once I use it for the next few days. And who knows, I might actually like this thing. But to be honest, I have some mixed feelings about this, which I'll get further into my review. So right now I'm currently reviewing the Kobo Sage. I got that a few days ago, I unboxed it. You can click the video above and watch that unboxing. So I'm using that and to be honest, I'm really, really liking it. So in the next few days, you should see a review video for that posted. And then after that, I'm gonna start using this Nook Glowlight 4. I'll be reviewing that and that video should come shortly. But till then, let me know what you're expecting to see in the review. Until then, I'll see you next time.